I'm getting Ether Foundation vibes. Ooh! This is cool. We just started, Hop. Huh? Yeah, the attention span of a modern day internet user. Oh, man. I do like that um, you as the player are not privy to the uh, to the workings of this of the overarching story, I guess. All you're here to do is participate in the uh, gym challenge. And uh, now that you are interested, or once the character is interested in uh, doing something about this, because uh, the champion is involved and it gets in the way of you becoming the champion. Like, that's your whole goal. You're not interested in facing down an evil organization or what have you. Um, does, it have, does it have heat proof or levitate? But anyway, um, now that this actually concerns you because your championship is on, is, is halted because of this uh, quote-unquote evil organization, uh, now you are actually concerned about it. Like, I, f I think that's a lot more fun. You're really not trying to multitask, I guess, is the thing. Not necessary, but thanks. Well, you're gonna die. And you'll deserve it. Praise be. He took more damage than I did. She, rather. It took damage. Took more damage than I did.
must be absolutely minted. That's a British phrase, right? Is minted something that people say in, in uh, any other English-speaking place other than in Britain? Because I know... Um, so, the Cornetto Trilogy, which is Hot Fuzz, Shaun of the Dead, and The World's End. Not in that order. Uh, in The World's End, they... The character that Simon Pegg plays refers to a rich boy as absolutely minted. Maybe to imply that he has a mint in his home and that's how he gets a lot of money. But, um... Is that a phrase that is used in, say, Canada or in Australia, even in the U.S.? Because I've never heard it outside of a British, like, British environment. Jog on is another one. You what is another one that I think is British. And I want to use that more often. Praise be. You what? Just causing a sandstorm in this tower, you know. This looks like the championship for Alola. Oof. Ghost? Type expert, maybe? Cheeky. Can't really uh, place a, a voice on her just yet. Like, she's shown up a number of times during the story, but I haven't been able to figure out how she would sound. Same kind of goes for Rose. She's got a, a good variety, it seems. Unless these are all, like, status afflictors. Huh. Look out! It looked at me funny. So the sandstorm's gonna mitigate all the aqua ring healing, or vice versa. Unless she's just going for Pokemon that look, praise be, that look attractive, look cute, look cute, I don't know. Attractive looking Pokemon, go figure. Yeah. The, the, is it stoic, I guess? The stoic type of uh, Pokemon? Stoic looking? But have a, a dominant side. So, yeah, it's Arena, Frostlass, Milotic. Who else? Probably not Gardevoir. A 
feminine looking Pokemon. He's got a dominant side. Is there a whip Pokemon I'm not thinking of? Well, there's Salazzle, of course. I don't know how I didn't think of that one. Does Hetrim evolve? And does that look like a dominant a dominant female? I feel like if anything, that would be another one. Like, of the new Pokemon, because she has yet to throw out a Gen 8 Pokemon, and that's probably going to be her Dynamax. Garp Odor. What? <laughs> what? Garp Odor doesn't look beautiful. Or at least I don't believe it does. Anyway, let's uh, finish this with style. Didn't have a single Gen 8 Pokemon. Gigant Excuse you? Um It absorbed toys and is now giant. A toy train as well. Wow, it survived that. Alright, here. Incoming sandstorm. Oh, please tell me this kills her. a grain of sand and it exploded oh I got my eye oh jeez it just dissolves They were there the whole time. I'm getting Getsus and N vibes. Once I go to fight the champion, Rose is gonna intervene.
I see ya, I see ya. See ya. Oh my goodness, it's Water Geek! Said no one ever when they saw me walking around in uh, real life. Hey! The Gaim leaders. Except for, um, Bede. Which reminds me, he's probably gonna show up. Let's, uh, let's do this right. Again. Uh, yep, that looks right. Alright. Same order as before. Let's do it. Plus, having you turn out in front is a good way of scouting. Is that Rose's gimmick? Is that his entire team is electricity because he's all about energy? Sure do enjoy the spectacle. Oh, wait. Yeah, there he is. It's Bead. <laughs> That's my other name. So he's a fairy user now. Did his eyes get shinier? So, the new twist is that Bede was doing his best to support the chairman, but then he decided, or then he learned that the chairman's motives are impure. So, now he's trying to make it right. Praise be. And now he wants to see the chairman suffer just as much as we do. Guessing that's the twist. So, Rapidash. If he's on a fairy team, I'm guessing I mean he's psychic fairy. In which case, uh, probably steel. Poison would also work, but I don't have poison. Mm. <sighs> Here we go. I don't like that appearance. Personally. Adarine. Huh? 
Oh, I should have I should have guessed that uh, it's Psychic Fairy too. Whoa! All right then. Yeah, well, I was gonna say first impression, but that's probably not actually gonna work now if it is in fact Psychic Fairy. All right, I guess I'll try Max Flutterby. And I'm faster, so that's a good sign. Pathetic. The Gigantamax. It's just Malamar. Or at least the shape reminds me of Malamar. Well, didn't one-shot him, so he's finally actually gonna get a hit off on me, probably. Even with a praise B. Try this again. Oh, douchebag. Oh, no. All right, let's try that again. Cutting it close. All right, we're done here. I don't dislike that appearance. Are you saying Opal couldn't? Healed, I am. Let me just. <laughs> Nessa. She's probably gonna gig Gigantamax her, uh, Dreadnaw. Melissapod, oh boy. Gonna first impression me. What does Sonya have to do with this? Leave her out of it.
That's some high-powered flicking right there. Alright, I'll have to deal with him later. Sea King! Sea King! Sea King! shouldn't have done that now that I think about it, because uh, that will increase the special defense of Dreadnought if I do get sand out on the field. Oops. Yeah, well. I'm surprised I'm faster. Didn't kill. I'm still surprised. So it's going to remove the flying type for the, for this turn. He's probably going to want to do it again, so let me just glare him. No, he didn't. Okay. Try something. Probably gonna want to go for the finishing blow. I'm switching into something that's quad weak to water because he also has steam engine. And if I survive this very easily, it's a triple speed up. I also do have the special defense buff from, uh, from Sandstorm. Barrascuta. I should switch. Yeah, water types are... I don't have anything good for water types. Most I have is Leaf Blade. Praise be. Let's see, what would be good? He's not fast. He has no grace. This pod has a stupid face. I take it back. Don't first impression me. Oh, God. Aha. Uh -huh. So all I need to do now is one-shot him with, uh, with Rock Tomb. That way he can't escape. Or he's still escaping. Alright, here comes the Dynamax Dreadnought. Um... Eh, Stealth Rock's not really gonna help me in the long run. Alright, here we go, Gigantamax. Seen 
you a number of times too many. Probably can't. Stone Surge, yeah, he's putting out Stealth Rocks now. There was no easy way to switch into him. least get a lot of HP back by, uh, or at least HP to spend by Dynamaxing here. Pathetic. So now that first impression from, uh, from the Lissapod won't be too much of a worry. Have you though? He was your first. He's not. He's not your best for last. He was your best for first. Anyway, um, I guess I'll try Max Darkness. See how much that does. Looks pretty neat too. There we go. Praise be. Yeah, out of all the gym trainers, I'm pretty sure Nessa is going to be, or was the one that would have been uh, the most troublesome for me, because I only have one counter move to her. Super effective move, that is. I had no electric moves, um, one grass move, and I think that's all of water's weaknesses. I don't have freeze dry. So I have to fight Bea next. Poor Milo. Will I get to fight Pierce again? I doubt it, because Ryan's pretty strong. Alright, well, if Bea's next, then... 